Hello me too beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an empties video. Pumped, have too much crap that I need to throw away. <laughs> if you enjoy empties videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mount Standard Time. Let's go ahead and hop in. I have two buckets to go through today. They just have piled up here. I'm not gonna go in any order. I have some, like a lot of body care and hair care things. That's basically it. <laughs> The first thing I went through is this Dove Glowing Mango Butter and Almond Butter Body Wash. I wasn't incredibly impressed with this. I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing more Dove products like this. I really love the other body wash that I have that I cannot remember what it's called. It is the, maybe the Olay uh, Shea Butter one. I really like that one. And I thought, Mango, ooh, this is gonna be good for summer. And it just was kind of a weird, scent it lathered fine but i just i think i wasn't a fan of the mango scent so i'm not going to be repurchasing this next product i went through is the not your mother's all eyes on me 10 in 1 hair perfector this is the product that i use to pretty much do everything for my hair. I use it to heat protect, control frizz, repair dry hair, create silkiness, add shine, detangles, adds body, just like all of the things. It is kind of the more affordable version of Sephora, like nice hair care things. Um, you can get them at Ulta a lot of time for like two for one or buy one, get one free. I will probably continue to be repurchasing this because it's such a good deal and it does smell really good and I notice that it does help my hair be not as frizzy, add some heat protection, and I notice that it helps detangle just like a little bit, not an insane amount, but just a little. I went through two of these Neutrogena makeup wipes. I've definitely decreased how many of these I am going through and buying because I'm using my makeup eraser cloth things to take my makeup off most of the time. I do have these down in my filming area and I use these when I have to wash my makeup eraser cloth. So I have these on hand, but I feel like I've gone through them a lot less than I used to. I have a deodorant. This is the Old Spice Wilderness with Lavender deodorant. Uh, Taylor Wynn actually turned me on to this. This smells so good. I mean, it's a men's deodorant, but it smells just like a woman's deodorant. And it just, it does such a good job at controlling my BO, making sure I don't sweat throughout the day. But I really love this. And I went through one of these. These last a really long time also. Next product I went through is the Ole Henriksen Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. I am using this as my 100% like go-to cleanser every single day. I have been using this for the last couple months and I feel like it really has helped my skin, not with just with controlling oil, but with acne and everything. So I really love it and I'm going to continue to repurchase it. I went through a Head and Shoulders Nourishing Care Daily Shampoo. This has lavender in it. If you live here in Colorado, you notice you have like a dry scalp. I have a dry scalp, so I need something like this to help like with the dry scalpness, but then also getting positive products like my dry shampoo out of my hair and this does a really good job at taking all of that stuff out. It says 100% color safe, which is why I went to it in the first place because I feel like other head and shoulders, they don't claim to be color safe, but this one does and it smells really good too. So I think if you are using like a dry scalp high end shampoo, this literally does the same thing. So I would recommend getting this and it's nice because it looks a little bit more feminine. I went through a toothpaste. I used the Sensodyne Fresh Mint. This is the for sensitive teeth and cavity protection and this has fluoride in it. So I use this every day as my like a toothpaste and I like it and it's minty and it's toothpaste. So not much to say about that. I went through two eye creams. The first is the Sephora brightening eye cream. And then I also went through this, which is very sad, the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I just repeatedly get this using my points from Sephora because it lasts me a very long time and it's an amazing eye cream. It's so good, but it's so expensive. So I like to save my points for it. This used to be my go-to eye cream. Since then, I have switched to the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, and I like it a lot better. I feel like you get pretty much the same amount of product. It is a lot more expensive, but I think it does a better job than this. This is for my contacts. I figured I'd just throw this in here. This is the Optifree Pure Moist with Hydroglide. This is my contact lens solution. I like it. It cleans my contacts and it helps keep them feeling hydrated in my eyes. I went through a Belief True Queen 
I, no, no, no. I went through the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. It has, look at the little, wow, it's a little elephant, you guys. I scraped this 100% clean. This is the giant size, the 3.38 fluid ounces. This is like the biggest size you can get. Again, I have made this my daily moisturizer and it is so good. I do have oily skin, so I need something that is going to hydrate and keep my skin like very plump, but not over hydrate where it makes me oily. So I feel like this does a really good job at that. My skin always feels very hydrated. And honestly, it's gotten to the point where when I smell this, it just like, it tells me it's ready for bed. Like this scent says go to bed. So it's become a very calming scent to me. <laughs> I went through two CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion mascaras. Great, amazing, best mascara at the drugstore or like ever other than the Ilia one. I went through a different gel. This is an acne treatment. I get mine off of Amazon and it's really affordable. It's kind of an alternative to like a retinol or a retin-A. So I put this on my skin and I definitely notice a difference when I use it and when I don't. It helps a ton with scarring. If you have a hard time like getting acne scars to go away, you definitely need to try this and you need to use it every day. There is going to be a period that you go through where your skin looks and feels a little bit drier, but you just keep pushing through and it helps like so, so much. I went through this Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Lotion. So good, so good. Oh, smells so yummy. I could eat this. These are really great. I have a few Bath & Body Works lotions left. I'm really trying to get away from buying these because they are more expensive. I can get something very similar and like even better at the drugstore. I really actually brings me to this. This is my holy grail lotion. This is the Nivea Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. It's thicker than the Bath & Body Works ones. You get way more in the container. It's significantly cheaper and it smells really, really good. I don't know. I just really like how it moisturizes my skin. I feel like the Bath & Body Works ones do okay, but other than the scent, like this just doesn't beat this. This has really everything I'm looking for in a lotion. I went through this. I already have another one repurchased. All right, getting down to the last couple things here. I went through two different eyebrow pencils. The first is the Milani Precision Brow in the shade Soft Brown. I definitely wanna pick up another one of these. I'm gonna put it to the side to remember to repurchase it because it is very good. I feel like I like this better than the e.l.f. one. That's crazy to say, but I really love the formula of this. I love the tone. It's a little bit more of an ashy brown and I love the tip. The tip is definitely skinnier than the Anastasia brow whiz so I've gotten used to it and today I used the brow whiz and I was like ooh I'm not really as happy with my eyebrows looking today as when I use this. I also went through the e.l.f. ultra precise brow pencil. This one is the tip is just a little bit thicker but also a great option from the drugstore and I do have a few of these repurchased. I went through a Batiste dry shampoo. I get mine in the shade Divine Dark. It's the only dry shampoo I use and I truly don't think any high-end one beats it just because it's so good. It adds a little bit of a, a darker tint to, so to your hair so it's not as hard to rub in and it just instantly like boosts my hair. It's like I can go so many days without washing it when I use this. All right, it's just time to get rid of this. It just is. I've had it for so long. This is the Sugar Petal Fresh Tinted Lip Treatment. It's gone to the point that, like, look at all this that I didn't even use. It's tinted, but it's gone to the point that I think it's just, like, supposed to go. It's getting really bumpy on the end, and when I apply it, it just doesn't look good. I feel like the formula just really is. I've had it for too long, and I feel like it's expired. I will say I do like the Sugar Fresh Lip Treatment, the clear one, a lot better than the tinted ones. All right, last product that I want to mention is a candle. This is the pumpkin cream candle from the uh, DW Home brand. I went through most of this. It really just is down to the point that it's like once I light it, the bottom of the wick is just right there so it goes out immediately even though there's just like a little bit left in here. I just can't get it out. I got this candle from TJ Maxx or Home Goods like forever ago. It lasted me a very long time and I would definitely purchase something like this in the future. I also really love Loved the cap like I thought it just was like a really pretty looking candle wow that was a lot of things. That is everything that I wanted to share with you guys that I have recently gone through. I am also curious what you guys have emptied recently and which products you just like cannot go without repurchasing. Mine is this, 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 and this. 
<laughs> these are all of the things I need. Anyway, I'm really excited to get to go throw these all in the trash now because they've been chilling in my room for months. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.